What's going on, YouTube world? Welcome to What Up Clay the channel. We talk about all kinds of things, how to fix the build, maintain it, and product review. And uh, this one right here is for all you uh, RC junkies out there. Um, I have a Tekken Gen 4 Spec R2. Now, I know you've already seen me do a review on this one, so what is so different? Well, um, this is the Elite, which is just like the one I just tested. But in this video here, I'm going to put it through some different tests. I'm going to run it on the Jerry. If you guys don't know about the Jerry, check out my video. I'll put it, uh, attach it right here in the corner. You click on that, take a look. You can see how this thing works, how, how, what the purpose of it, how it operates, and how it helps determine the, the performance of a motor. And one of these brushes motors. Um, here are the gears I'm going to be run it through um 27 28 29 30 31 and 32 and they're going to be uh spinning a um a surpass v6 17.5 t uh the spec motors the big fat boy on this one it's not going to be the lightweight but uh the pinion the more that's going to be used as a spur gear in this video but this is a 30 tooth on here and uh, yeah, we're gonna run it through uh, at least seven different or six different gear sizes. Plus, I'm gonna run it free wheel, free spinning, so that you know how how it spins, the RPMs, and everything like that when it's spinning. And I'm gonna take the uh, the RPMs, show the RPMs of the of the motor differences between each gear. Take the heat from the motor. We're gonna run it 10 second intervals and the amperage and the temperature of the motor so uh i don't know if i mentioned that already but anyhow let's uh let's go learn something okay as i said we have the tekken g4 spec r2 17.5t uh, this is the elite motor and it has the uh, the teflon shim in it um Basically, the only big difference between this one here and the the, the spec one, you have to see my reviews that I did on this one, and uh, you'll know more about this motor. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to run this thing without a uh, not hooked up to a load. It's just going to spin freely. So I put this on here. The reason why is because I have this pinion right here marked for the. Uh, uh, RPM the speedometer so or tachometer whatever you want to call it basically to gauge the speed on it so I'm going to put that in so you guys get an idea what this thing does freewheeling let's go uh, turn on here fire in the hole First, we'll do an auto test. Five point six seven amps, twenty nine forty three kV. M bell time is forty eight point three. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the video. All right, let's see what the RPMs are on it. Twenty-two thousand one hundred approximately kV the amperage. Now I'll go ahead and uh, check it with the uh, tachometer here. The tachometer is reading. 22,000, whoops, where'd it go? About 22,150 minutes. It's pretty close to what the uh, uh, tune was saying. That was the max RPM it read on there. 
So let's go ahead and now we'll put this gear on the load motor and then we'll start off the 27 tooth pinion and work our way up all the way to the uh, 32 tooth. All right. So as I mentioned, I put the 27 tooth pinion on here. Start with 27 tooth. This one here, the spur gear is the uh, 30 tooth. This is the load wheel or load motor on this side. The Tekken motor is on this side. Uh, just so you you know, I took a, t a temp test of it uh, after we freewheeled it and it came out to 107 degrees uh, running all that time. I don't remember how long we ran it for, but it was a bit. It was 107, that's a little high. Um, this motor probably doesn't like to be run at full throttle often. But I don't know, we'll figure that out after this test. So um, I was going to run it for 10 seconds. I decided to go ahead and run the motor for 20 seconds. Uh, put it through a little bit more of a test on uh, on the heat. See how well it handles it. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, the max RPM on that, as you can see here, was 18,561. Now that is going to be less than freewheeling because I have the 27 tooth. I stepped the tooth down, so it actually went down uh, uh, what was it, three teeth difference between these two. So yeah, it's going to be different. Um, Temperature-wise. Pull this thing out. 103 degrees. That's not bad. Um, let's run and see what the uh, amp draw is on it under the uh, auto. Yeah, 10.55 amps, um, 2759 for the uh, KV. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and bump a tooth up and see what it does with the 28 tooth pinion. Okay, 28 tooth pinion. We'll run the, uh, the auto test first. And so we get. Ten point six seven amp KV is twenty seven forty six. Um, temperature running at one hundred two. Which is weird, the more of a load I'm putting on it right now, the uh, cooler it gets. That's odd. So this one right here says, yeah, it's reading 103 on the gun. So, let's go ahead and put on the RPMs, run it for 20 seconds. Let's see what we get. All right, 
As you saw there, we had a, a max RPM of 19,196. Let's go ahead and jump it up another. You know what? I want to find out what the temp is first. I'm reading 102. Did you guys see that? Oh, this is blinking. My battery's going dead in that one. So, uh, the highest temp I read on that one was about 102. So, let's go ahead and uh, bump it up to a uh, 29 tooth and see where we go with that one. Okay, now we have the 29 tooth pinion in here. 29, this is still 30. I will not be changing that one out, just so you know. I'll just be changing this one out. So, let's get everything set up and get ready to go here. First thing we'll do is we'll do the auto test. See what numbers come out there. Okay, uh, hope you see the numbers there. 11.38 amps, 2717 kV. Um, in case you guys are wondering, Temperature is at 97 degrees. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the 20 second run on the load and see what temperatures we get. Okay, I ran a little bit over on that one, but uh, max uh, RPM is 19,736. Temperature on the motor is, pop it out. Ninety-four degrees. That is. Oh, there you go. That's different. I'm trying to shoot the the actual uh, uh, stator. So, it's one hundred seven degrees on that stator. As you can see, you see the stator inside. Uh, the can temp. I know not all of them have exposed stator, but the can temp is still one hundred. See. 110. A little warm. Alright, let's uh, jump up to the 30 tooth. Here is the run with the 30 tooth pinion. Um, basically, you might be thinking, okay, it should be the same as freewheeling. No, because this time it has a load, so it's going to be um, less RPMs than what it was when it was free spinning. So, it's going to do an auto run. Uh, 11.26 amps, 2735 kV. And let's go do the 20 second run.
All right, we got uh, about 20,000, almost 500, 20,494 for the uh, RPM. And for the temperature, taking it from the can, one fourteen. So, all right. Let's put the thirty-one tooth on there. We're almost done. So, as I mentioned, uh, this one here, this pinion here, this is now a thirty-one tooth. So I'm swapping these pinions out as fast as I can to not allow the motors to cool that much because under racing conditions, it's gonna be going under a lot more um, strain than uh, a lot more abuse than what I'm doing on here. So I'm trying to keep them hot without cooling down too much. So let's go ahead and do the auto test, 31 tooth. All right, 11.42 amps, um, 2718 kV. Let's see what the temp on there was, 106 on the temp. Let's do a 20 second run and let's see what we have there. thousand one hundred and thirteen temp one thirteen one sixteen hundred sixteen almost 117 degrees so now we'll run the final test, it's the 32 tooth. We're running the test on the 32 tooth. We'll do the uh, auto test first. Twelve point one eight amps. Uh, 2692 kV temperature 106 degrees um, let's go ahead and uh, run for the RPMs on, on the manual so one thing I will bring up though is you can tell this motor here has a lot of torque because it's spinning this motor this load motor uh, doesn't seem to be hesitating at all when it's when uh going through that cycle so manual run the rpms 20 second run here we go Okay, so 21,767 RPMs was the max RPM we got out of that one. And uh, temperature. Get different temperatures at different parts of the motor. Right there is about 116, the highest I've saw. 117. 
It's 117 and a half degrees <coughs> temperature at the can. Uh, yeah, it's uh, starting to get to the point of being uncomfortable to to handle. So there you have it. Uh, let's put all these numbers on the spreadsheet and go over what we have. So here we have the numbers typed into the spreadsheet. Um, brand Tegan Elite 17.5 Gen 4 R2. <clears throat> so free spin without a load, 22,124. Uh, if you remember the last uh, Gen 4 that I, uh, R2 that I tested, the Elite, it had uh, about 500 RPMs less. So this is actually a faster motor. But the um, I did not weigh or test the strength of this rotor, but on the last one, if you remember back, um, it was one of the strongest rotors that I've tested. So I'm guessing this rotor here is going to be roughly in the same area. But due to the higher RPM, I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit less than the last one. But being in the same area, meaning that it's still a strong rotor, just probably not as powerful as the last one. Um, so the amp draw is 5.67. Free spin, 2943 KV, 107 was the temp, which is pretty high. Just free spinning. Um, without a low but as you see the temperatures start to drop and then they come back up again as the low gets heavier 27 tooth 18,561 uh, 10 half amps and then the 28 tooth gave it uh, about 600 rpms more go up another tooth is about the same so what's good about this you're also seeing a difference in rpms uh, that you're getting from one tooth. However, remember the faster you turn the load motor, the more of a draw, the more of the uh, load that is put on the drive motor. So the faster this Tekken spins, the uh, more load is put on it. Um, 29 tooth, 32, 31 tooth, and then the, uh, uh, the final one with it's 32 now I know you're looking at this right here and go I don't know how to read this out so what this is going to do is when you compare these numbers to other motors you'll notice an rpm difference between the other motors and then an amp draw so let's say I test the the next motor I have coming up is going to be the uh, the hobby wing the the newest one the, the g2 so that one there let's say they both at a at a pinion of uh, 29 teeth they both spin the same rpms but one might be a higher amp draw than the other so the one that's pulling the most amps is going to be the motor that's working the hardest uh anyhow that's how they're going to be compared so uh, my thoughts on the Tekken motor after these results is results actually look pretty good I don't know for sure can't give an honest opinion yet until I start comparing it to more motors This is the first one I've done and and put on the Jerry so We'll go ahead and see what happens when I do do the next motors and then I'll put them on the same spreadsheet and we'll add them all up, but uh, Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe it helps uh, build my my channel so I can obtain more motors and and compare the more higher end motors and stuff like that because I have to purchase these out of my own pocket. And 120 bucks, 130 to 160 dollars for a motor that, that gets pretty expensive. So uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, hit the like button, subscribe anyway, just so you can make fun of me and my other videos. All right, everybody, take care.